Cody SPMC dark screens crashing green flickering can this be fixed permanently well the short answer is no we are at the mercy of the developers and hopefully updates can fix all these things but don't fret there are things you can do to make your screen brighter and I'm gonna to get to that in this video so be it a PC a Raspberry Pi an Android TV box or even a tablet each Cody has a little different settings for each device but first I want to talk about how are you gonna see Cody well most of us are gonna hook it up to a TV some of us will be a PC monitor but I'm gonna be talking about mostly a TV so first thing you should make sure is your TV is calibrated properly because if it's not you're fighting the device with the TV so my advice would be go to a forums look up your TV and see if somebody has suggested a good settings for your TV now each TV is slightly different the room where the window is the lighting so you have would you would have to make some tweaks to their settings for your individual setup if that doesn't work I would suggest to purchase some sort of video like this Wow video which is a DVD blu-ray and what this does is it helps you calibrate your TV also it all it does audio too hang on let me make this brighter um, so this is a very good blu-ray but the problem with this is you need a blu-ray player so then you need to set the blu-ray player up properly also the TV screen size if there's a brightness for the blu-ray player also some people might have a setup where they have a receiver where the blu-ray player goes into the receiver and an HDMI, HDMI cable goes out from the receiver to the TV so the receiver would need proper calibration so there could be a lot of parts that needs calibrated even before you get into Cody so think about that before you set your Cody up so right now you're looking at Cody in a PC and I'll show you bottom left you could see that this is a PC and really in a PC you've got a video card to help you brighten Cody up if need be so you would go into system settings and then system again and under video output you see a limited color range setting right there now I'm on a PC monitor that does not need to be checked but if you're on a TV you should check that and that'll help your brightness on your screen for the Raspberry Pi you know if you have open Elec, I'm not going to get into that on this video but there are settings you can make the Raspberry Pi brighter basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Android TV box I'm gonna use the B-Link GT1 because that's what I have on hand right now and show you what the scenes look like and how you can make it a little brighter talk about crashing and green flickering so let me set this up and I'll get back to you so here we are in the Android TV box and what I want to do is I want to totally wipe out Cody's data and start from scratch with a fresh install so to speak a default is what I should say so if you don't know how to add add-ons to Cody don't do this make sure that you know how to add add-ons before you wipe Cody and due to factory default so there's a couple of ways to do it the easiest way would be to go into your settings 
and most Android TV boxes has this screen. Then you would go to the apps and you would find Cody and right here it says clear data. Now there's also a clear cache. Now the clear cache you can do anytime you want to make Cody run better but right now we're gonna do clear data and you're gonna say okay but only do this if you know what you're doing because you cannot get your add-ons back. So you say okay and now it's computing I'm also going to hit the clear cache down here. I'm going to say OK. And now you have cleared Cody from the factory default. So now I'm going to go into Cody. And it says preparing for first run. and it's a 16.1 so from experience I've had a Android TV box when when I did this it had some unusual third-party skin and some third-party add-ons that was connected to that skin and when I did this what happened was it did not completely rem reset to factory default so I'm gonna show you another way to do this to set the Kodi in f to factory default to where it would work for you. So let me stop the video, let me populate an add-on and I'll show you how I did that. Alright, so I added the add-on and let me show you how I did that. And so are you going to System, File Manager, you double click Add Source, and then you're going to pick where it says none and your keyboard is going to come up and you're going to type in let me show you what you're going to type in. I'm going to exit out of this, exit out of that. So here's Fusion. I've got a mouse hooked up to the Android TV box. I hold down the pick button for a few seconds, I let go and this dialog box comes up. So you're going to go if in case something happens you go edit, edit source in case something goes wrong. But anyway I wanted to show you how to type the fusion.tvaddons.ag and make sure you type it in exactly like this. Then you want to give it a name. I just called it dot fusion. You can call it whatever you want. Now, after you call it a name and you click done, then you're going to hit OK. Now, if a dialog box comes up and says something went wrong, do you want to keep it yes or no? You want to say no and go back into this thing and double check what you type to make sure it's exactly like this you're gonna hit OK so mine nothing popped up so I'm good to go so you're gonna go back one you're gonna go into settings add-ons install from zip file you're gonna pick fusion you're gonna say begin here and you see there's one that says fresh start so you're gonna pick fresh start that it populates as fresh start add added then you're going to go into install from repository and you're going to pick program add-ons and let's see is there the fresh start no let me go back it's been a while since I've done this we go back, it could already be in there. So we're going to go back all the way out to programs, program add ons, and there's your fresh start. So normally you would go into your repository and add it, but the fresh start automatically adds it to your programs. You would pick fresh start and it says, Do you want to restore to the default settings? You would say yes. Then you would reboot Cody, get back into it, and it's going to be a fresh start. So, that's how you do it. Now let's talk about, let me say no, let me get out of this.
And what we're going to do is we're going to try and fix the darkness on the Cody. Okay, right now you can see at the very bottom this RSS feed. Let's get RSS feed out of here. So we're going to go to a appearance and show RSS news feed. Uncheck that. You don't need it. Also, when you're in here, you can see settings level standard. Click on that and change it to expert. And then you're good to go to make your changes. Now, basically where we're going to go is we're going to go into videos under acceleration. Now, everybody wants M Kodak checked and media codec checked. So these two will help your crashing on your Kodi when they're checked off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a scene of a movie and let's take out how dark it is and what we can do about it. Alright, so I'm in Exodus and what you're looking at is you're looking at Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 Episode 8. So, if your scene looks very, very dark with these standard settings, normally what you can do is you can go into this icon right here that looks like a movie reel, pick on it, and go to brightness, and you can change the brightness, but as you can see, nothing happens. So, what you have to do is change a setting which I'll show you so you can change the brightness. So right now we are at 1604 time on this video. Let me show you the settings to change. So if you go into system settings, video acceleration and uncheck these two and we're gonna go back into the movie and let me show you the difference alright so we're back at that scene and I'm gonna hit the movie reel again I'm gonna go into brightness and now you could see how it's getting brighter and brighter and darker and darker and this so you can adjust it to whatever brightness. You don't want to oversaturate it. You know, maybe just add a few little ticks. Like 56 to me would be good. You pick, and then what you would have to do is you would have to exit out of it. And now you can watch the movie. Now, this, this little trick, you have to do... Every movie you're watching, you have to set that brightness because it's not going to stay at whatever setting you have. Plus, you should do it on a dark screen so you know what's a good brightness for you. Also, when you uncheck those two in the settings, your Cody's going to crash more, which is unfortunate, but at least you get to watch a movie that's not as dark as without doing this little trick. So, that's one way around it. Now, when you go into SPMC, which I have over here, let me close out of everything. And when you do a first run of SPMC, You're going to get a different skin, and I'll show you. I want to change the skin back to the confluence, so all the settings are the same. You would hit this circle down here, go into appearance, and then the skin, and you would just put confluence and say, yeah, you want to keep it. now. When you're in here, of course you want to remove the RSS news feed, you want to change the settings to expert, and when you go down into video, the acceleration, 
these two are checked off and I'm going to go back into that same scene with the SPMC. Alright, I'm in SPMC now and I'm going to click the reel. And we're going to go into brightness. And as you can see, nothing happens with the brightness. So SPMC works the same way as the Kodi where you have to go into system settings video acceleration and uncheck these two guys now don't forget it's gonna crash more but at least you can get your brightness higher and let me get back to that scene and I'll show you SPMC that that works alright so now SPMC I ch made those two changes I'm going back to the reel now I'm going to the brightness which was at 30 percent but anyway you could see that now with your numbers you can make it really bright so you can see that that works on SPMC also um, so that's that's the way to get around the brightness temporarily until they have a fix now don't forget it like I say it's gonna crash a little more but at least you can watch your movies a little brighter now as far as green flickering make sure that your Android TV box is up to date if you don't have OTA over the air update you're gonna have to download the current firmware put it on a little SD card and, and search how to install it in your Android TV box. So that's it guys. I hope that has helped. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think. If there's any other settings that could help, I'd appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.